Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. So today we are going to be drawing two of the cutest little guinea pigs. So I'm going to show you from start to finish. I got this reference off um, Unsplash and these little guys are just the cutest little balls of fluff. So <laughs> I thought I have to draw them. So they made me smile when I saw the photograph. So I'm going to start, there's a pair of them, with just the circle, the basic sort of circle shape. I can adjust and readjust as I always say, as I go, you know, this little one's got, he's sort of two balls. He's got the body ball and then his little head ball. So I'll start with just the basic shapes and then I'll add the detail. Then <laughs> this other little guy, he's really cute. He's sort of a bit more side on. So he's a bit more oval shaped because I'm looking at him from the side. And then he's sort of looking up at us. He's got his little head looking up. So I'll just draw this, this sort of the circle shape of his little face like that. And <clears throat> now his head and his body, head and body are the same width. So yeah, I've got him about the right dimensions. <clears throat> and that is basically my two little guinea pigs. <laughs> this one, his head, and his body are about the same width so that's fine i've got him about right and so now i get to start on the details like these little guys are so simple so i'm just going to draw his got i can see his little fingers i can see four little claws so i'll draw his four little claws on like that then i can just see a couple under there his little back ones his little i can i can see maybe one little one there they've got the cutest little faces so i'm going to draw his little ears in first like that, he's got little downward ears. So I draw that ear in. I can change the shape of his face just a little bit over here. Might make that ear come out a little bit more. And now he's got the cutest, he's got really cute markings. So his nostrils are about halfway down his head. So about here is his little nose. So just below the line of his ears, maybe a little bit lower than that maybe. Get my eraser on the back of my pencil. Oops, that was silly. I opened up my pencil to get the eraser and the eraser wasn't there but all the lead fell out. So that was good, hang on. I'm just gonna get my leads back. <laughs> Put them back in my pencil where they belong. Cause oh, as you do, I just throw the leads out of my pencil. Here we go, fixed it. <clears throat> we'll forget the eraser for now. Um, and <laughs> I'll just draw his little eyes. His eyes are sort of about the middle height of his ears and they're half circles because he's looking at us straight on same on this side about halfway down his little ears and on the sides of his head got to keep his eyes the same size like that and I'm going to make his nose a little bit lower so I do have to find my eraser okie doke so I found my eraser I'm just going to adjust this ear a little bit and I'm going to just make it a little bit larger and I'm going to erase this line that I've got going down to his nostril and I'm going to move his nostril a fraction lower to down to about there and I can see two of his little nostrils <laughs> and he's got a little bit of carrot in his mouth <laughs> so I better draw the carrot because that's just so cute now his mouth the edges of his mouth come to the edges of his eyes so there we go and I'll draw the little bit of carrot because that's just so cute and draw the bottom lip and he's got the cutest little marking so I'll just mark in just roughly around where the colors on his little face are because they'll help to give him proportion and then he's got sort of brown coming around there and he's got a chubby little cheekies so I'll pop his chubby little cheekies in and now I'm starting to fuzzy up the lines so I'll fuzzy up the lines so that he looks furry. It just makes it all a little bit more cute and fluffy. So I just give him fuzzy lines. And he's got his two-tone. He's got a tanny coloured back end. So I'll pop that on there. And you can only just see his little fingers. <laughs> and he's got his elbow there. Okay, so that's that one pretty much drawn in. I'll draw the ground in behind him. 
Okay, now to get to work on this little dude over here. So he's definitely a bit bigger, this one. And he's got a bit more colour on him. So I'm going to go... He's got patches, this one. He's very cute. And he's got loppy ears. So I'm going to draw his little loppy ears in first on that side. And then the loppy ear on this side. Okay, so this little guy, his head's a little bit lower. So I'm going to draw... And his eyes look closer to his ears. And they're a little bit bigger because he is a little bit bigger of a, of a guinea pig. And... This eye comes down and around there. And he's got a very cute long nose. He's got a white face, this little guy. And black patch over this ear. Comes down to the back of that eye. Comes around his little belly. And up onto his shoulder and onto his little back there. And he's got he's got two tone eyes. He's got yellow outer line on his little eyes on his irises and then i'm going to draw his little nostrils in like that and i can't see his mouth so i'm just going to now i'm just going to ferry him up so he looks a bit more fairy i've got to make his eyes a bit more triangle shaped i think i'm going to get my eraser and i'm going to change the shape of his eyes just a little bit <clears throat> Got to make him a bit longer. I had him looking a bit, um, a bit too triangly. That's a bit better. I'm going to see a bit more of that one, like that. That's better. I'm like that better. And then I'm going to fuzzy up his outer line, like that. And that is basically two little guinea pigs. <laughs> That's, they make me giggle. They're so cute. Draw his little whiskers. Like that. Get all their little whiskers in. Same with this little one. Get his little whiskers. I can't really... I can see one little back foot on this little guy. And I'm going to draw a little pile of carrots in front of him. So that it looks like they're eating something. Like that. Won't do a whole lot. Just a little bit. Just to give it... I don't have to draw every single piece of carrot. Just like that. There we go. So we've got the basic outline for our little guinea pig. So I'm going to pop a little, little couple of little claws in. Because <clears throat> he does need to look like it. Even though I can't really see them, I can put a couple in like that. Okay. So now we're going to start adding colour. And I'm going to do... I'll do the little one on the left first. So I'm going to wet my watercolours. And I'm going to grab a bit of cloth and we're going to start with gold ochre, very diluted gold <laughs> ochre. I'll bring my palette a bit closer. Very diluted gold ochre on the one on the left because you can see around his little back, around here, doesn't have to be thick, just very watery. I'll add a few different layers because I've got to get the sort of shadows under his little tummy and everything. So I just add that yellow ochre around here where I can see it because he's got a bit more of a goldy tone than, that, than the one on the right. I'll add that it comes around his little face like that. And it's super diluted. He does have a bit of white on his face as well, so I've got to leave a little bit of the white of the paper. Leave a little bit of the white of the paper. Clean my brush. Take the excess off. Because he's got a few different tones on his little face. Under his little mouth is golden. And I'll do a little bit of pink into his ears. But I'll do that in a minute. Right. Now. For his on his back it's actually more of a neutral tint I've actually got neutral tint here I'll just have a look at it diluted because he's actually oh no he's a little bit more brownie maybe I'll go with a, I'll find a nice sort of a ready brown maybe burnt sienna I might go burnt sienna that's a lovely color it's not quite the color that's on his fur might add a bit of burnt umber to it just to brown it off a little bit 
and I'm going to go back onto my little guy over here and I'm going to brush in while it's still damp it can blend in with the other color it's not going to not going to matter too much I'll just drag it around keeping little fairy lines like that they are so cute <laughs> it's fun to draw cute things it does make you smile I'm going to go up onto his ear and around his head now. I've got, to, I've got to do little fuzzy marks around his little head because I haven't, I didn't fuzzy out the top of his head where I should have, but I will now. So that's okay. I might even have to make that a little bit browner, you know, because I'm looking at it thinking, mm, yeah, it does need to be a little bit more, a little bit more brown. But I can do that. That's okay. I'll go over it with a little bit more of a brown tone. I'll find one on my palette somewhere that will work. He's got that little patch that comes down there. Doesn't matter that it spreads out a little bit. I don't, that's a beauty of watercolour. It can do stuff like that. Come down on his little cheeks. Okay, I'm going to get a little bit of maybe raw sienna. I'll have a look at some raw sienna. That's a little bit more of a... <clears throat> um, whoops, that's a bit better. Whoops. Just got to stop that from spreading too far. Pick it up with my brush, move it around, and just drop that in and let it just mix on the paper itself. A bit of that on here as well, up onto his little head. Anywhere I've put the darker tone, I now go in with this little bit of sienna. I can even go over that with a little bit of grey towards the end. I'm going to let him dry a little bit now, and I'm going to go over here onto this little guy. So now I'm just going to, for his shadow areas, because he's pretty much white. So I'm just going to use cobalt blue in his shadow areas. So around this part of his neck, excuse my dog in the background. <laughs> she wants to come up into the art room. And I'm going to pop a little bit of that blue around the eye. And onto the nose and around the chin and anywhere I can see that needs this blue shadowy tone on the face. Okay, so I'm going to pop any of the shadowy areas that I can see just with that blue, like that. And I am now going to add, I'm going to make up a grey, so burnt umber. And I'll use that cobalt blue that's already on my palette to make a nice natural sort of a grey. Burnt umber, cobalt blue, make a nice grey, very diluted still. And I'm going to go into the patchy areas. I can see on this little one and his little ears are turned down you can't see the inside of the ears so I'm just going to fill that in that's a bit of fun and then that comes down around his little cheek and onto that foot like that and that patch goes up onto his back so I take that to back and around there like that Okay, so continuing on, I'm going to take this brownie grey round a bit more, like that. And I can see a little dark patch on the left side of his face, so I'll go and I'll add that in now. So now I'm going to start filling in the little carrots because they're cute and they're orange. So I'm just going to go with a bit of red orange directly off my palette. I'll pop it in that top little bay there. Bit of red orange just to add <laughs> the carrot colour. It's so funny. It makes me smile. This is making me smile the whole time. I love drawing cute animals. Okay. I'm just gonna, literally just going to fill in those little carrots like that. We've got the little one in his mouth. That's done. Okay, so I'm going to work. Go to his eye. Their eyes now. And he's got a gold colour around the edge of his eye. So I'm going to very lightly go in with gold ochre and the very tip of my brush and add in the bit that goes around his iris. 
on both sides. It's more of a greeny tone on the reference, but I'm going to go with gold because it works contrast wise, it works a bit better. And I can just see a little bit of that too on this other little guy. So I'm just going to add that in there. And then the rest around the outside edge is gold. I'm going to add the pink into his this one's little ears. And I'm just going to use, I'm going to use a bit of Cad Red diluted. So just diluted, a little bit of Cad Red there, got a bit of hair off my brush. And I'm just going to dilute that right down, very watery. And pop that into, into ooh, a bit more water on it than that into the inner ear and drag that around just to leave a pinky tinge inside the ears. This little one on the left, pop that little pinky tinge in and I've also got to add that pinky tinge around the nose on both of them. So add that because he's got quite a pink little nose, this little guy. So add that pink around the edge down to his mouth. And I'll also add that, oh yeah, the little claws are grey. But I'm going to add a pinky tone first and I'll add the grey to help to um, get the shadows underneath. So yeah, I'll start with the pinky tone and then I'll add the grey. Okay. I'm going to go back onto this little guy on the left and I'm going to use some of that same grey, burnt umber cobalt blue. And I'm actually going to go over the brownie bits, but I'm going to make it a, a more pale grey than I had on the, the right guinea pig. But I'm going to go over his fur and add a bit more of this grey onto him. Because it does look like he does look a bit more greyed off than I've got him. I've made him a bit too brown. So I'll just go back and add a bit of that grey. Very diluted burnt umber cobalt blue mix. And take that around the edges of his little fur. Like that. And around that ear. Like that. And onto his little back end. He's got a little bit coming around there as well. Onto his back end. I'll fill all of that in. Like that. And that looks pretty cute. Okay. Now I'm going to draw the ground under them. And rather than it's brown in the reference photo, but I'm going to make it green. I'm going to make it sap green. Because make it make it feel like grass. Make it feel like they're sitting on a nice little bit of grass. So I'll just work around staying off the, the wet paint because these little toes are quite wet. So I'll just cut around the edges, not quite touching him. And I'll drag that between them both. And that'll help to give a bit of contrast as well with the white against a slightly the white of the guinea pig on the right. It makes him, a, it gives him slightly more contrast or make him stand out a little bit more. So I'm not being exactly the same as a reference. I, you know, you can change things. And I got this reference off Unsplash. I think I mentioned that before, which is a fantastic royalty-free photograph videos. They have all kinds of stuff on there, actually. But references you can use. So I come down and around here over the carrots. I'm not going to do the whole ground. I'm just going to... and. I'm just going to take it all around the underneath of them. I'll add a little bit of darker, a bit more sap, less water, a little bit more sap green, a little bit less water just to get the shadow areas in because they've definitely got shadow underneath where they're sitting like that. And I'll just let that flow around in the paint. Let it do what water, watercolour does so well. I'll add that dark into here as well like that and then come back around carrots. He's a little bit dark, more directly underneath. Maybe up the back there. Pop a little bit of that into the carrots. Like that. They're looking cute. They're looking cute. And I'm going to just absorb up that excess water, clean my brush, take the moisture out of it with my bit of hand towel, and mop up that puddle there. And I'm going to add a blue sky background. So I'm just going to go in cobalt blue. Get a fair bit of cobalt blue on my brush, fair bit. And I'm just going to wash around both of these little guinea pigs, just roughly. I'm not going to go to the whole top of the painting. I'm just going to work around the little animals because I quite like the soft edge effect. And the guinea pigs are dry now. Oops, so I can go up to them. I'll just lift that off there a bit. 
work around that little ear. And I'm again, I'm working on um, my Bockingford watercolour paper. It's, I'm really loving it. It's a middle medium grain cold press watercolour paper. Yeah, and I'm really enjoying it actually. So I might have to get another another little book of it. Again, taking washing that that cobalt blue around the outside edge of both guinea pigs. Coming closer into the fur there, like that. Might take the sky up a little bit higher. Get a bit more of that cobalt blue around here. Take it almost, almost to the green, not quite, because I don't want it to smudge with the green. Get a bit more cobalt blue into that bit and drag it around. Okay, go almost to the edge of that green almost and again take the cobalt blue around the edge that the green on this side's dry so I can actually I can actually go right up to it like that it won't matter this is almost dry enough so I'll just very carefully touch it to the edge I've got to add a bit more cobalt blue up there I haven't got quite enough up the top of them I'll add it a bit here See, it only flows where you've put the water. It doesn't go onto anywhere else. That's the beauty of watercolour. One of the reasons I love it, you can have so much fun with it. I'll just pick up that bead at the bottom. Drop a bit more in up here. Let that flow round and into between them. Like that. And I'll pick up that excess little puddle at the bottom there. Righto. Now, I'm going to get onto their little eyes. And their little eyes, I'm going to leave the highlights are going to be the white of the paper and I'm going to make burnt umber cobalt blue. Burnt umber cobalt blue to make my dark. Add maybe a little bit more blue to that to make it even darker. There we go. And I'm going to go back in very carefully. Actually, I might grab my fine brush. I might grab a smaller watercolour brush if I've got one. And um, just go back in to the eyes. And I'm going to leave a little highlight, which is just going to be the white of the paper. So I add that onto both of the little guinea pigs, leaving a little corner of light like that. And the same on this little guy. I've got to clean the end of my brush, get it back to a point. And then go around the edge, leaving a little giant dot triangle of light. And the same on this little one. About the same height, leave a triangle of light. There you go, and take that around. And that's his little eyes done, pretty much. I am going to add a little bit of tart to purple. <laughs> Oh, I couldn't say purple then. A touch of purple is what I was trying to say into his little mouth for the shadow tone in his mouth. Just to shadow that because you can't see pretty much anything in his little mouth. So I'll just add that little shadow tone in there. That just gives that effect of his little mouth. I'll add a little bit of that shadowy colour purple into the nostrils like that. And I'm also going to take... A little bit more, I'm going to add a little bit of uh, burnt sienna into the ears, a little bit of that reddy brown into these ears just to give them a little bit more tone in the middle. I've got to clean up, clean my brush, take the excess moisture out, um, sod that up a bit. Okay, go back into this ear as well just to add a little bit of a darker tone into the centre of the ear. And I haven't done the pink on this little guy's ear. So I'm going to do go back into my red that I had here earlier, right there. Pop that back into that ear. And I'm going to use that gold ochre. Oops. Not gold ochre. I'm going to use uh, burnt sienna. Just underneath the little toes here. Just to give the toes a little bit of shadow as well. Like that. I'm going to add a bit of that gold just around the bottom of that ear, like that. They're looking very cute. Okay, I've got, I do have to fuzzy up this top of this little guy's head, so I'm going to dilute. 
my paint and I'm just going to bajaggedy a line and I'm going to same around his little eyes. He's got to have shadows on this side as well, actually. So I'm going to pop a little bit more shadow on this little guy and take that into the corner. And that's looking cute. I'm quite happy with that. I might add an even darker shadow underneath and I'm going to use that purple. So I'm going to go with deoxyzine, deoxyzine purple. I'm going to add that directly underneath both of the guinea pigs. Dilute it. I don't want it too thick. And just literally right directly underneath. Just to help create a strong contrast. And it goes over the green fine. It's not a problem. I'll take that up into underneath there. Under his little feet. I'm going to cut in towards the toes a little bit more now. Because they're dry. Just where the darkest darks are. Like that. Just helps to ground him a little bit. And the same on this other little one. I'll just add a bit of that doxazine directly underneath. I'm coming back up under his little back leg. I might even pop a little bit under a couple of these carrots just to give them a bit of contrast. And they are done. So I hope you enjoyed this video. They were so much fun. I absolutely adore guinea pigs and I adore drawing these little guys. So thank you for watching. Have an awesome day and I will see you all for the next video.